the great ice bear, the world's largest land carnivore. An Arctic wind whips off Hudson Bay across the sparse scrub brush of northern Manitoba. It's early November, and polar bears that have spent the summer on land are waiting for temperatures to drop. When Hudson Bay freezes over, they can return to the ice floes where they hunt for fish and seals. Now, they line the shores, hungry and ready. Without a natural enemy that can match their strength and ferocity, these powerful hunters are one of the world's most dangerous predators. On the ice, Amazing adaptations and primal instincts allow them to survive in the most unforgiving ecosystem on the planet. Beyond the North American tree line is a surreal kingdom of ice and snow. This part of the world, a subarctic climate, receives little direct sunlight during its long and brutally cold winters. Life here is beyond difficult. Few animals other than the polar bears have found ways to thrive. Getting to the bears isn't easy. Polar bear country can be reached by bush plane heading deep into no man's land. The harsh winters prevent most human activity. There are no roads and virtually no settlements. Hudson Bay is partially frozen over. Giant bricks of broken ice float in the frigid water. The polar bears crossed the oceanic expanse before last spring to Maiden Den. Now it's winter, and they're waiting for the bay to freeze completely so they can cross back. On a makeshift runway, beyond the 58th parallel, polar bears appear in the distance. There is almost no sound here, only wind. Snow-covered scrub brush and dwarf trees are the only sign of vegetation on this landscape. It is a world of snow, ice, and silence, the only life these bears know. Human presence is an oddity, and the bears are curious. They may look friendly, but they are one of the world's deadliest predators. To properly observe the bears, our crew needs to get up close and personal out on the frozen bay. Polar bears have spent the summer foraging for whatever meager food they can find on land. They've lost weight, and they're ravenous. Morsels of tree bark, lichens, and the odd rodent are no diet for an apex predator. Food has been so scarce, these bears have entered into what is known as walking hibernation. The mother watches her cub closely. She will spend these years alongside him, but otherwise alone wary of all others, especially adult male polar bears. Occasionally in the depths of winter, a starving male will eat polar bear cubs. As the cub returns to their makeshift den, something captures his mother's attention. She sniffs the air. 
polar bears have an impressive sense of smell. They can pick up the scent of an animal more than 18 miles away. A large male bear has caught their scent on the wind. He makes his way toward them. He is much bigger and could easily kill both mother and cub if he wanted to. There's no escaping now. Mom will have to meet him head on. A polar bear mother and cub brace for what could be a violent encounter. A large male has caught their scent and is heading right for them. The big male yawns, an indication of anxiety as he moves closer. It's not uncommon for a mature male desperate with hunger to attack and eat a cub. A mother does not have the size or strength to fend off the attack, but she can make it difficult for him. As he advances, the mother gets ready. She won't back down. The life of her cub is at stake. She makes her size known. An injury to any of these bears could be a death sentence. She indicates she's ready to fight. At the last second, the male backs down, not quite desperate enough to take the risk. The mother and cub move toward the shoreline. The male does not follow them. The cub is safe for now. The sun hangs low in a gray sky. It barely breaks over the horizon. Rough-hewn trails lead to Polar Bear Point. At this time of year, the polar bears move slowly to conserve energy. They pad along at three and a half miles per hour. Due to their size, polar bears expend twice the amount of energy that other mammals do walking on land. If they spend more than 12 seconds chasing prey, they will expend more energy than they will gain from the kill. So they move carefully and rely on patience. Polar bears will sleep seven to eight hours at a time, along with an afternoon nap after feeding. For these bears, it's all about energy conservation. At the end of the shore, a group of bears is feasting on a fresh kill. The largest of the group has killed a seal and the meal has attracted a dozen other bears.
Polar bears are not territorial like their cousins, grizzly bears. Instead, they keep a cautious distance and take turns with the carcass. The temperature is dropping rapidly, but the bears will stay exposed for hours around this meal. Polar bears don't hibernate like other bears. To maintain their body temperature, they slow down their metabolism and save energy by recycling their own proteins. After eating, bears will lie in the snow to sleep. They need to conserve as much energy as possible. Scientists believe polar bears may have first appeared less than 500,000 years ago as they diverged from brown bears. They underwent evolutionary changes developing a keen sense of smell and hearing, white fur, sharp teeth, and enormous strength. They are the largest bears on the planet. Females weigh 330 to 650 pounds. Males are double that size, some weighing more than half a ton. The largest male on record tipped the scales at about 2,200 pounds, about the size of a small car. At the shoulder, they measure three and a half to five feet tall. Their paws are like snowshoes, 12 inches across, which helps to distribute their weight. This is even more important on thin ice, where they will spread their legs wider apart. The pads on their paws are covered with bumps called papillae, which prevent them from slipping. Their steady step allows them to hunt silently. This is essential for catching skittish seals. Those massive paws make polar bears expert swimmers. Their forepaws act as gigantic paddles, their hindpaws as rudders. They can swim up to 100 miles in a single stretch. They are the only species of bear to be considered a marine mammal, swimming from one ice floe to the next in search of food. Long trips in the water expend a lot of energy. It can be so challenging for polar bear cubs, they will often drown from exhaustion. This has made polar bears a global symbol of climate change. Increasing temperatures in the Arctic have drastically reduced polar ice. 
2016 saw the second lowest level of Arctic sea ice in recent history, only behind the record low set in 2012. Without ice, polar bears cannot hunt the prey they need to survive the winter. As distances between ice flows increase, polar bear populations decrease. It's estimated that two-thirds of the world's polar bear populations will disappear by the middle of this century. If something isn't done to stop climate change in the next 100 years, they could be extinct. on the shores of Hudson Bay. The layer of bedrock that comprises the landscape here is covered with snow. It crunches under the tires, alerting wildlife to this unusual presence. By weight, the snowy owl is the largest owl in North America. With peppered brown and white plumage, it mirrors its snowy environment. This allows the owl to hunt prey undetected. The older they get, the whiter their feathers become. Signs of other wildlife dot the landscape. At this time of year, there is less than eight hours of daylight each day. Soon, there will be next to none. Already, the gray sky is getting darker. These apex predators roam the tundra alone and rarely encounter anything that is a danger to them. They are fearless as a result, and any animal, even humans, could be seen as prey. In the wild, these bears will live 15 to 18 years. In captivity, they can live into their late 30s. Females will produce five litters of cubs in their lifetime it is one of the slowest reproductive rates among mammals. Females reach sexual maturity at four years old, and that is often when they will have their first litter. Polar bears mate in late spring or early summer, but the fertilized eggs don't implant until the fall. This delayed implantation ensures that the bear is in strong enough physical condition to carry the cubs to term. Females must gain 440 pounds to have a successful pregnancy. The females will gorge on food spending several months in their maternity dens during the winter when food is plentiful. At this time of year, females look for the perfect place to dig their maternity dens. Snowdrifts on hills or near shore are ideal. At birth, polar bear cubs weigh about a pound and are only a foot long. After giving birth, 
mothers need to get back to hunting seals. The high calorie fat in seal meat helps her produce milk for her cub. Polar bear milk is nine times more nutritious than human breast milk. Because it's so cold, they require much more energy to function. And polar bears use twice as much energy as the average mammal. This means that some bears are walking toward their next meal, but some are walking toward their death. The sun rises slowly in northern Manitoba. It takes two and a half hours for the early red glimmer of light in the east to become full daylight. With the sun low in the sky, the rugged rock and snow cuts a stark silhouette on the horizon. A polar bear lumbers along on his daily search for food. The polar bear goes by many names. In Latin, he's known as Ursus maritimus, which means sea bear. In Russia, he is the white bear. In Norway, the ice bear. The Inuit call him Nunuk. The Sami people of Scandinavia won't refer to him by name for fear of offending him. To them, he is known as the old man in the fur cloak. Another bear pads into view. Polar bears are usually solitary, but they will occasionally interact with other bears. They play fight with each other in a spectacular display of power and agility. If bears meet nose to nose, it's an indication that they're looking for food. The bears are quiet, but will make chuffing noises, an indication of stress. At this time of year, when they are hungry and looking for food, stress is not uncommon. Deep growls are a warning not to approach any closer. And loud roars are a display of anger. As kings of the Arctic, what they say goes. Scientists believe that polar bears are very intelligent, on par with primates. Because of the conditions, it's difficult to determine the degree of their intelligence. The bears spend so much time hunting to survive that the true limit of their cognitive abilities takes a back seat. Polar bears in captivity have been known to play, reason, and problem solve. But bears in the wild have no time or resources for anything beyond their own survival.
When food is abundant, polar bears will eat only seal blubber to build up their own fat reserves. They can eat up to 100 pounds in one sitting. Due to the concentration of omega-3 fatty acids in the blubber, the polar bear's cholesterol levels will be lower after this meal than if they were fasting. When they leave food behind, the remainder is gladly scooped up by scavenging arctic foxes and younger bears. Smaller ringed seals make an ideal meal for younger bears and females. The larger bearded seals are claimed by adult males. When they are hunting, they seek out the best vantage point they can find, often climbing to the top of a pressure ridge for the best view. A pressure ridge occurs when two large ice flows come together. The force of the collision causes large ice blocks to break off and build up, creating a prime spot for a hungry polar bear to scout for seals. A polar bear's body is not like most mammals. They are able to process large amounts of fat and lose and gain a huge amount of weight without permanent damage to their health. This is thanks to their special liver, which contains over 10 times more vitamin A than other animals. Scientists are studying this, hoping it may be a key to solving human health problems like diabetes and heart disease. But it's something other than the polar bear's normal diet that's killing them. Expanding oil industries in Arctic waters and the oil spills that come with them are hurting bears. A polar bear with oil on its coat cannot regulate its body temperature properly. Synthetic chemicals find their way into the aquatic ecosystem. They are consumed by crustaceans, which are then eaten by seals, and finally consumed by polar bears. Chemicals like PCBs are being found in animals all across the Arctic. These chemicals weaken the bear's immune system, making them susceptible to parasites and disease. It also causes reproductive failure, putting the already delicate future of this species at even greater risk. The polar bear's majestic beauty, remarkable strength, and astonishing intelligence make them an icon of the Arctic. With awareness and action, there's hope that these great animals of the North will live on to rule this ice kingdom.